Hey, what's up guys? And today I'm going to show you how to make your basic teleportation look better, cooler, more awesome, more powerful. Call it whatever you want, but it's going to be even greater. So uh, if you haven't seen the basic teleportation tutorial, you might want to do that first. Otherwise, you're not going to understand this. So uh, go ahead and... <clears throat> but if you have, then you've come to the right place. So let's get this started. As you can see, I'm using a different video. And I'm just teleporting in, out, I mean, to make this faster. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, uh, minimize all of these. Select the top one, hold down shift. Select the bottom one to select all of them. And what you want to do is click go to layer, pre-compose, and name it basic. Okay. <clears throat> and now it's compressed into a single file. So now we have our basic teleportation here. All right. What we're gonna add first is oh yeah, let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a shake, a camera shake, a light change, and uh some sort of gas or uh you can call it displacement. I'll show you later. So first of all, let's start with our shake. So go to uh layer new adjustment layer and let's name this one shake so click on it hit enter to rename it click anywhere click on shake go to effect um, stylize motion tile it's gonna bring you up with these controls so hold down option or alt if you have a PC alt and click here on the stopwatch tile center you'll be able to type here so delete this and type in wiggle w i g g l e in parentheses 30 comma 20 so there you have wiggle in parentheses 30 comma 20 okay if parentheses does not work because uh, older versions don't like parentheses use brackets those are brackets right but mine doesn't work with brackets it would give me an error so I would have to use parentheses so try both to see which one works <clears throat> okay, click anywhere, minimize these, and now what we have is a camera shake. If we scroll, you can see the camera shake. Now, actually, it's not the camera shaking, it's the screen shaking. So it brings part of this image into this side. Into. Hold on. What did I do? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Like I was saying, it brings part of this side in to this side. So what we want to do is click here, mirror edges, and it fixes the problem. Now it looks normal again. So okay. We're done with the shake. Oh yeah, we're not done positioning it. We want it to uh we want it to start right when our effect starts. So uh scroll down where your effect starts right here go three frames before that by hitting command or control holding it and hitting the arrow keys so now scroll towards three frames after that and make it end here okay so now we're done with the shake now let's add the light change so go to layer new adjustment layer and name it light there you go click on it, go to effect, color correction, brightness and contrast <clears throat> make it the same size as the shake effect right there and there right cool hold down option or alt and click on the stopwatch where it says brightness and type in wiggle in parentheses or brackets 30 comma 20 parentheses so it's the same thing as the shake click anywhere minimize this and now we have a flickering of light you can see here you don't have it? no it's after effects oh. alright um, we're done with that now this effect is a little bit tricky the one we're gonna do next so uh, go to composition new uh, composition settings and you want to memorize 
the width and the height. So height is 480, width 640. Okay. Hit OK. Go to composition, new composition. Name it gas. 640, 480. Make sure it's the same ones as the other one. So click OK. And it's going to make a new tab here. So on the footage tab, I have these three. Yours might be named different, so the gas tab we have nothing. So uh, go to layer, new, solid, and name it um, gas effect. All right. Make comp size okay. <clears throat> go to effect, generate ellipse. It brings up this ring. So make the color white. Click on these boxes. Red, white, okay. All right now, go to the footage tab here where you have the effects and everything. Click on basic, copy it by going to edit, copy. Go to the gas tab and copy it here by going to edit and paste. And now you can see the video. So, click on it, hit T 100%, make it 250. All right, so uh, now you can see both. You want it to start right when you do the effect, right about there. So I drag it into there. Go until it lands about there. Right. Scroll to the middle of it, about there. Right here, click on this stopwatch for width, height thickness and softness click on gas effect and click P hold down shift and click R and click on these stopwatches also and for height you wanna increase it to make it taller maybe move it down make the thickness higher so higher the thickness make the softness 100% and maybe push the sides in by minimizing the width like so okay now go to the beginning of the gas effect and you wanna make all these zeros zero 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 and zero so now it starts like this go to the end for rotation type in 15 I'm just gonna rotate a little and make all of these zero again so now we'll turn the basic off by clicking here and now we can see what's happening okay so we're done with this thing so close the gas tab close it now we're back to the footage tab where we have the light and shake go to the project tab here and the gas composition drag it down here click on basic go to effect distort displacement map and here what says basic click on this little arrow and switch it to gas and if let's make the video bigger to see what's happening right. you see by the door of the line of the door here it's uh, it's not straight that's because we're adding some sort of effect here so uh, increase the horizontal and the vertical and let's see, let's play it. Yes, awesome. Oof, it happened so fast it's barely noticeable, but it is there. You can see here by the line of the door here. So yeah, we're done with the three effects. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> the shake, the displacement, and the light change. Yeah. After that, you might want to add some color correcting to uh, make it look more like a cinematic look. So yeah, guys, that's it. Then go to composition, add to render cube, and click render to render it and save it. So uh, yeah, my name is Isaac. Thank you for watching. See ya.